Hey everybody, Draven again, and I'm back with my final decision for the 2019 Secret Santa. Uh, this year was actually rather tough for me. Uh, I had a really great list, um, multiple great, great, you know, figures to choose from, great list. Uh, made it rather difficult. I actually uh, started reaching out to friends and family um, once I had kind of narrowed the list down a bit to um, get their opinion on what I, what I should make, you know, because uh, this year I really wanted to do something kind of epic, something a little bit, you know, out of the comfort zone and um, just really couldn't pull the trigger on it. So I had narrowed it down finally after about three days to um, three characters. So it was either going to be Red Sonia or Jane Foster Valkyrie or the actual uh, sideshow statue style of She-Ra really kind of got the opinion of my wife and a few other people I said you know if you really want to push yourself out of your comfort zone don't do what you've always done you know and that's uh you know uh showing a lot of flesh on the figures so <laughs> looking back uh you know done figures like cammy and uh raven last year from uh, secret santa uh, just a few other things like that so um what I decided to go with, Jane Foster Valkyrie. So um, just looking through a lot of the pictures of her um, when I was doing the research, and saw a lot of really cool images, a lot of really cool artwork. You know, uh, looks like they put a lot into that comic. So um, the one one picture that really kind of tipped the scales for me um, was this one here. And generally, if you do just a general Google search, you can find this. But um, there was just so much raw power and emotion in this picture. That was really kind of it for me. Um, what I'd like to do is, you know, give her multiple heads. Um, and I want to do one kind of with this expression. You know, I'm going to have to custom sculpt it. Um, because I don't have any fodder that is anywhere near that. But um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So i um, hoping to do something extra special with it as well if I have time. Um, but obviously going to concentrate on the main figure first. And if she comes together pretty quickly, um, there'll be one last little surprise at the end. So having said that... Um, Let's head to the sculpting table. This is what I've come up with. Uh, obviously plans change along the way. Had that happen many times, but thankfully I had a lot of um, kind of base fodder to go off of and then ultimately go through a couple things I had to run into here as well. Um, but what I originally had found out is none of the fodder that I had really matched kind of the body type of, you know, some of the images I was seeing of Jane. Finally found a head sculpt, which was the um, Electra from the Daredevil series off of Netflix, um, which is awesome. I'm actually a bit behind on that. I haven't seen the latest season, but um, I want to kind of go for more of a realistic feel with this figure as well. So I thought kind of doing more of one of the realistic head sculpts would be great. Um, I am going to, obviously, if you've noticed, I have removed the hair. So what I'm going to do is mold and cast the head and then basically each individual head I want to do three I want to do just kind of this normal expression I want to do one with her with her red glowing eyes and then as I mentioned before you know kind of that angry just scream she had you know with the squinted eyes and uh, I'm gonna to have to obviously alter the jawline a little bit drum out the mouth you know kind of do some sculpting in the brow line to kind of give her that angry look but so, what I went to was my Walgreens exclusive Sue Storm figure um, which I thought you know I put the head on there worked really well at first um, and then after I kind of got to looking at it you know I noticed that you know the upper body seemed okay because what I did is I do have a set of arms that I'm actually going to replace for um, because Jane has the you know the exposed arms I thought these would be a great place to start I'm obviously going to paint them in shade and everything but having that good base color I found is great to have just in case you ever do get any paint rubber scratches you know you have a light color underneath that will hopefully show um, less if it does get damaged so thought that was all great at first, but then when I noticed she definitely has kind of a skinnier legs, you know, um, 
more of kind of a runner's physique and not a shot putter, you know, kind of like uh, seeing with uh, Jane in those pictures. So also didn't like too, didn't look seem like, you know, the legs spread much here, you know, the great articulation like the Marvel Legends do, but it seemed like they just kind of stopped here, uh, which ultimately dremeling these out to avoid paint rub there would actually be pretty easy. As you can see, they're kind of exposed anyway. But wasn't really content with that, so I really just started looking through what I had, and what I found was my Medusa figure. So took her out of the box, and kind of looked, and I noticed she definitely has more of the body type that I was actually looking for. So kind of the more athletic thighs. You can look at it on the side comparison here. How much beefier they are she looks more like a, a fast pitch player than a, a long distance sprinter <laughs> so um kind of a bit wider hips you know is going to be a little bit better to kind of show off that uh, little half cloak or cape that jane has um but definitely kind of more of what i was going for kind of more of the structural athletic feel um so decided to sacrifice one of my figures out of my collection for the greater good the greater good um and the only thing i'm a little concerned about is i thought the head looked a little wonky on top of this body but thankfully i know a guy who can make that work so it may just seem funny to me until we actually get hair on there and start sculpting you know the armor over the um arms and whatnot but um as always, if along the way something doesn't look right, you know, we'll figure out what we need to do to make it look right or get another piece in there to do. So I know you said no wrestling figures, but this is from a uh, WWE set they had of like a create a superstar. So they had like gladiators. This one came from like the Sting set that had, you know, um, like a cloak and kind of a darker type theme. So um, very, very cool wings. Um, I got these a while ago and I actually looked into getting more because I actually got them for one of my custom figures that I'm actually doing from a story that I wrote. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is actually make a mold and cast these as well so I actually have them for the future so we can make more wings if need be. Um, probably going to have to do a two-part mold for these. I don't think just one straight mold is going to work and uh, it's going to be kind of difficult. As I had mentioned in previous videos, I suck at molding and casting, so really hoping these turn out well um, because they are going to uh, play part a little bit later on in this figure as well, hopefully, with the, like I said, surprise I hope I can have planned if I have time to do so. But ultimately, probably going to do a little bit of sculpting because you know where they put the uh, joint here to compress these two together you can kind of see the outline of that so what i'm going to do is just get rid of that by dremeling it out a bit and re-sculpting those feathers and then i will have to see what i'm going to do on the back here but um ultimately uh, what i've decided is i want to rework these to where i'm actually going to put some magnets in the back because there are pictures of jane with and without the wings so i want to be able to just snap them right on with some magnets so they're good to go uh, well, that's going to be easy enough to do this way but i'm hoping to actually make them turn as well so i'm going to have to figure that out it'll be one of those things that uh i'm going to figure out along the way so um, if that doesn't happen to work you know she's still going to look pretty badass just with the wings like this but i would prefer that we could actually take them sideways as well to give it as much as articulation as possible being that, you know, Marvel Legend figures are awesome and known for that. I want the wings to kind of follow suit as well and not just be in, you know, one position that they go up and down. I want to be able to go side to side and up and down as well to give her in some really great poses. Uh, I believe that's it. What I'm thinking I may do, I was got this from a Angela figure, fodder that I had, um, to basically do the back piece of Jane's um, skirt, half cape, half cloak, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I ultimately may actually end up using cloth with that and some wire so it's poseable as well. I thought it would look really cool to kind of have the wings really pose well and then just kind of have the, you know, cape pretty much follow suit as well to be able to pose it and just get her in some really epic poses and just make this figure turn out as awesome as I possibly can. All right, so the tedious, most important part, in my opinion, is done. For now anyway once i get this thing primed and bend some joints i want to make sure i still don't have any joint rub but anyway um this arm should be pretty straightforward just going to sculpt a little bit of the glove up onto this arm and then this arm she has armor and then um should be pretty straightforward i'll probably actually uh sculpt this 
um, instead of just painting it. Um, I like actually having a little bit of uh, ability to put some creases and stuff in there, kind of give a little bit of dimension, a little bit more realistic feel. Um, and uh, did a couple of head casts. You know, the ears came out kind of weird. Thankfully, her hair is um, quite full and should cover most of that especially with her little headpiece and everything and I was contemplating actually um, sculpting the headpiece and then um, casting that but we'll see how that goes because I'm gonna have just the two normal expressions here one with the red eyes one with normal eyes and then once again the screaming face which is gonna require a little bit of dremeling and sculpting um, for the body I had um, a little bit of trouble with the legs I had to retighten these up after I popped them out and dremeled out the hips and everything um, then this one was pretty loose so what I did was poured some paint down into the joint and then boiled it and that tightened it right up so um, I've heard there's some other techniques like you can use like pine saw or something I, I don't know um, but that seemed to work for me in the past plus it also gets kind of a little bit of a black base down in there as well before I prime it and airbrush it so um, I got all the joints dremeled out I think I still have a couple areas that knees a little tight there I might have to run the exacto knife through that uh, not run it you know through my finger like I did yesterday <laughs> but um, I'm gonna just put a little bit of epoxy in all those joints and feather it out um, before I actually prime it uh, I'm not gonna pay too much attention to what's going on in here because she has those uh, metallic shin guards with the uh, rope wrapped around them so that should cover quite a bit there but the rest of this is gonna be black up into the point where we sculpt the chest piece uh, which as you can see there I have dremeled that out quite a bit I still feel like it's not enough especially once I go to sculpt so what I may do is actually get the chest piece sculpted and then actually cut out the remainder of the existing body piece there I've done that in the past I think I had to do that with Cami um, once I re-sculpted the breasts and um, those dry then I was able to drum a lot more so I didn't get that rub down in the bottom part of the torso uh, put the arms on earlier I still got a little bit of rub going on in there, but what I'll probably do is put those back on and just cut the rest out with a knife and make sure they're good to go um, before we sculpt the um, shoulder pieces on. So uh, I'm gonna do just a little bit of sculpt here to make kind of a definitive neckline so I can actually paint that flesh tone. And then uh, from there onto the wings. So these are several attempts to get this right before I finally got the uh, cast done with the wings. Um, also decided to just use magnets for these so these are actually held together by magnets and they work pretty well pretty sturdy um, this one is staying in place this one is not behaving for some reason so I'm gonna have to figure that out but um, basically um, what I'm hoping to do you know so I've cut this bottom piece off is somehow sculpt something in here I'm gonna basically sculpt some magnets to actually dremel out some magnets sculpt over them and then whatever I plan to do here it's going to basically just click right on and then we're going to have hopefully our left and right and then up and down as well what I'm hoping to be able to figure out is how to bend them this way as well uh, but once we get to that point we'll figure that out I tried on a good old experiment man this is my figure I have used on multiple figures to basically experiment things on. So you have done tattoos and airbrushing and when I did my space Trump figure I was trying to figure out how to sculpt that American flag into the legs. So a little bit of Sugru in the hair, you know, uh, that's where I learned real quick. It's kind of difficult to paint Sugru, but um, fun product to work with just, you know, that it's uh, silicone based. It doesn't like to take paint well, but anyway, so what I had initially thought was maybe I could take this flat piece and then put it on and be able to move left and right. The problem is it wants to go down. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, but ultimately I will figure it out. Just gotta get to that point. But when it does, I think it's gonna be pretty cool because you won't be able to actually see anything on her back and the wings can attach and deattach without any kind of pegs to push through or anything. So. Um, think it's going to be pretty cool once I figure it out. So without further ado, I'm going to get to priming with black and fixing all those little impurities with some epoxy. And then once we get to that point and we start sculpting, see you then.